everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and we're going to continue on our Microsoft Excel series by talking about sheets or as some people call them worksheets. Uh, that's actually what they were known as in earlier versions of Excel. And what a worksheet is, is basically a sub spreadsheet or a smaller spreadsheet within a spreadsheet. So why would you do this? Well, let's say you're making a budget, you know, a company budget. And if I could spell budget right, there we go. And let's say this budget is for the year 2010, right? And you want to continue on and make a budget for 2011, 2012, and so on. Well, you could save this spreadsheet, make another spreadsheet and call it budget uh, 2011. You could then make a third spreadsheet, 2012. You could do that. But instead of doing that, you have the option of using sheets. And what you could do is you'll notice in the bottom left hand corner it says sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. As I go from sheet one to sheet two, if I click on that, you notice I now have a blank area to play with. It's basically as if I had opened up another spreadsheet. As I go back to sheet one, my information is there. So what I could do is I could go to sheet two and I could do budget 2011. And as you guessed it, I could go to sheet three, oops, budget 2012, right? And then I could save this and basically I have one file where I have all my information, which is pretty nice. Now you probably notice that, okay, I've got these, this information for the different budget years in my sheets, but I don't want to call them sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. So let's go down here and all you have to do is click on it. You could actually right click and rename. So we'll call this 2010. Right click there, rename that 2011. Right click on sheet three, rename and 2012. So now it looks a lot cleaner and I have a little bit more organization. So it's pretty easy. Now let's say you wanted to add a 2013 sheet. It's pretty easy, just to the right of those numbers. You can click on insert worksheet. Just click on there. Now you have sheet four. You could rename that. Right click, rename, and you've got 2013. So it's pretty nice. You do have a couple other options as you right click on the sheet. We'll do that. You can see we have insert, delete, rename, we've done that, move or copy, and you've got some other ones. If you want to protect the sheet so that you want to make sure no one is able to edit it, or at least so that no one does a uh, control A and delete or something drastic, you can also protect it. You can also change the tab color. So we can make 2010 if the, that's the one that's really important. Whoops. We could, uh, well, let me kill these. We could right click on the sheet, go to tab color, and we can make it red because it's important. And then we go to tab color here, we could do yellow. You know, so if you're a, a tab color crazy person, you could do green, something like that. You know, Or what you could do is you could send this Excel sheet to someone and say, okay, work on the red one. And uh, they would be able to see it pretty easily. You could select all sheets if you wanted to by doing that. Doesn't really get you much. Now what's cool is you can create formulas and stuff to copy from one sheet to the other, which is pretty nice because this is all one interconnected spreadsheet. So it's it has some intelligence in that way. Okay, finally, by default, Microsoft Excel comes out with three sheets by default when you create a main spreadsheet. We can change this behavior by going up to the upper left hand menu and going to Excel options. We'll click on that. And then in the middle somewhere, there we go. When creating new workbooks, include this many sheets. So usually let's say we want to have, uh, we want to go crazy. We'll have five there. So we'll click OK. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new spreadsheet. Click on new, blank workbook, create. And you could see now I have five sheets, which is pretty nice. Right? Of course, you could change that to one if you wanted to. 
Uh, if you're a basic user, you might not even need three sheets. You might even never need to use worksheets at all. So you might want to just have that as one. All right, that was a quick and easy video on how to work with Microsoft Excel Sheets. Thanks a lot.